Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Supply. We've got a cool project this round. Let's make some leather barbed wire. This looks good. Now, the first project that comes to mind, hat band. Absolutely. But if we get creative, there are all kinds of places we can use this. All right. So anything I use in this video, weaverleathersupply.com or check below. We've got links there. Going to take you straight to the website. Also, if you want to know when our videos release, just click your notifications. You'll know exactly when these come out. So let's step over to our pattern table, get started. There's a relatively easy way to make good looking barbed wire. Say if we're just going to add this to a belt. So all we need to do here, we're going to go with the two millimeter round lace and we'll talk about that. But I'm going to punch four holes. I'm going to come through from the back with my lace, twist that down, go through these two holes, tie a knot. On the barb, same thing. So let's come through, go around that main wire three or four times, up to you, and then back to the other side and tie a knot. Now, those are big knots back there. But if we're going to line something, we really don't need the knot. We could just take the tails of the lace, lay them out, glue them, then when we lay in our liner, we'll never feel that. So it's an easy way to go. What we're going to do, how about that? That looks just like barbed wire. All right, so on our lace, we're going to go with the two millimeter lace. We've got the 1.5 in natural, which means we could dye that our own color. But to me, that's a little too small for our, our barbed wire. Actually not true. That would make a very cool little set of barbed wire earrings. Anyway, so we're going to go with the two millimeter and we've got a form that we're going to need to make. Relatively easy to do. So let's step over to our main table, talk about that. On second thought, let's come back to this because it's more easily explained when we actually add our lace. But there are two things on here we do need right now. So for the piece of lace that we're going to make our barbs with, we need a 30 inch piece, 36 inch for the main wire. Make this as long or as short as you want. This is just an example. So on our lace, we're going with the two millimeter lace. Love it. This is the brown, got a nice gloss on it. Well, we're going to rough this up for two reasons. First off, we want to make it look more like barbed wire. But secondly, we're going to use a leather firmer to help keep the form to it. So let's rough our, our surface up a little bit. I'm going to take some sandpaper, light grit. This is probably 200, maybe 220. And let's just rough this, not to a point that we actually get through to the natural leather, but let's just rough that up some. And that should do it. We just need to break up that top coat so our leather firmer will wick in. Now on our leather firmer, typically I would have a bottle in the camera shot, but due to an unfortunate craft fail with a bottle of dye, yeah, mine is no longer camera worthy, but there we go. That's a pretty bottle, okay? So with our leather firmer, let's use some good ventilation with this. Let's take one of our pieces of lace, Let's curl that up and I'm going to drop that in there and I'm going to give that about 30 seconds. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Good, we've got that. So we're going to reset, lace our form. But one good point, there's another way we can go here. With our leather crafter cement, if we mix this 50-50 with water and use that as our firmer, it actually works pretty good. The only downside is that when we lace this on, it's actually going to glue onto our form and it's hard to get off. So the leather firmer, best way to go. All right, let's reset here, form some lace. This is just a piece of scrap one by four with some wood screws. So let's start right here on our larger screws. Let's take our longer piece of lace. Let's come around one end. Good, even out our distance. And now let's just twist that. And I'm just gonna tie a knot, just enough to hold that on. It's a little bit hard to do with the gloves on. Good, we've got that relatively taut. That's what we're looking for. Now, we can make this any length. What would actually be cool is if we did a four or five foot piece, spooled that around. That'd be a nice decoration for our home, shop, tack room, maybe even our office. All right, so let's let that stay where it is. Let's flip this around. Now, on this side, I've got two screws in solid. That's what we're going to tie the ends of our lace to. 
But right here, I've got just some wood screws. Now, those are not in very hard because I can unscrew those with my finger. So when this forms, we'll unscrew that from the wood and the barbs. So again, down here, let's just tie a knot. Okay, we've got that. Now, on my board, I've got little arrows. I want to come this way, and I want to spin up. This will make sense when we do it. So let's come down to the bottom. Now, technically, I'm going to go four turns. That's pretty standard for barbed wire, but actually barbed wire has two bands or two pieces of wire so that we have four barbs sticking out. We can do that, absolutely. Okay, let's go to our next. And down to our next. And our last. Down, let's tie a knot here. We used a little extra lace there, but that is fine. And let's pull that taut. Okay, that looks good. So with our leather firmer, we soak this pretty heavily. So let's give these about four hours dry time. We've given this ample dry time. That looks good and it feels dry. Now I mentioned making a longer piece. Easy to do. This is just an example. But say we want a piece about five feet long. Let's take some lace, 10 feet, loop that around a hook or a nail, say higher up in our shop, higher on a wall, twist it, and then on this end, just put a pair of vice grips on that. But just make sure the vice grips can't, can't turn so it doesn't untwist on us, all right? So let's start right here. Let's take our longest piece out. Good, finally get that off. We've used the leather firmer on it, but also something I noticed, on the inside of this, it still feels a little bit wet. So let's take these off. Then we'll let them dry a little bit longer. On this end, let's open that up. And there we go. Now, say for a hat band or something like that, all kinds of creative ways we can get to close this, but we could just tie a knot on that end and loop it through that. That would be an easy, simple closure. Okay, we've got that. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit. Same thing over here. So, we've got our fixed screw down there. Let's cut that. Same down here. Now, we're going to trim these off because if we look at barbed wire, that's actually cut at an angle to make a sharp point. So, let's just cut these in half for right now. Good. Okay, with a screwdriver, I'm going to hold the, hold the spool. And now I can feel that leather firmer, but if we give it just a little twist... There it goes. It lets go. So let's unscrew this both from the wood, good, and from our spool. Good. Okay, there's one barb. I'm going to do the same thing to these. Now, in all honesty, these feel a little bit wet still. I gave them about four hours. Let's give these about two more hours, let them lay right where they are, then we'll step over to our punch table, put this together. And our last bit of dry time, I feel like these could be a little more stiff. Well, in all honesty, it's not actual barbed wire. This is a decoration. But we could also experiment with how long we leave the lace in the leather firmer. All right, so let's do this. On each barb, I'm going to come out about a half of an inch, and let's make a cut at an angle. Good. Same on this side. There we are. Now, we've got a little naked leather there. We could always hit that with a Sharpie if we want to, but I'm going to do the same thing to the balance. We've got that. Okay, let's take everything over to our punch table, glue this together. Our barbs are going to be a little bit tight on our wire. That's what we're looking for, but I didn't go into great detail. It's a simple wood screw from side to side. That's about three sixteenths of an inch, maybe about four millimeters, somewhere in there. So the easiest way to do this, or at least in my opinion, let's take a piece of our wax thread. And let's just run that through the end. All right, let's press that down. Good, because we need to pull that through here. Now, the distance between barbs. 
your project, your call. Add as many or a few, as few as you want. For this, let's go about four inches. So let's take a barb, let's take our wax thread, run it through the center of that. Good. Okay, let's pull that on. These are a little bit small, that's good. That's what we want, we want these tight. But now I don't wanna pull it down because we're gonna straighten out our wire. So let's just curl this down. Notice it moves very easily. Okay, so down here, let's come to about four inches from our end. Let's use our white glue. Good, a little bit there. So four inches, let's just say about right here. So let's take our glue and let's just circle the wire. Okay, good. And now let's just slide the barb over that. Good, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing, add two more. Okay, we've got this last one down. Now that one's coming a little bit loose on me. Let's move that down to our glue. Okay, we've got that, so now let's come back. This glue actually sets pretty fast. So let's come back, press that together and down. Same there, and same on this one. That one's a little squirrely. Okay, now let's take our square. Let's just lay that right on top of that. Just a little bit of weight. Let that glue set with the barbs down. Let's give it about 10 minutes. Well, let's just see what we've got here. How about that? That looks good. Odd sensation. I feel like when I grab this, I need to be careful because it looks so good. Other than a little bit of difference in size, that looks exactly like barbed wire. In fact, when I sent a picture of the sample to my boss, my, her response was, why are you sending me a picture of barbed wire? That looks good. I love the barbed wire. Now let's get creative and figure out where we can use it. I hope you have a great time making your barbed wire and I hope it comes out beautifully. Good luck with your projects. Mm -hmm.